Hello everyone! So, for today's video, we are going to solve a problem from fluid flow measurement. A 50 mm diameter siphon drawing oil with a specific gravity of 0.82 from a reservoir were given head losses of 1.50 m from point 0.1 to point 0.2 and 2.40 m from point 0.2 to point 0.3. We need to find the discharge of oil from the siphon and the oil pressure at point 2. First, understand the principle of a siphon. The siphon is a tube that allows liquid to flow from a higher elevation to a lower elevation even over an intermediate higher point driven by gravitational potential energy. The siphon effect occurs because the pressure at the top of the siphon is lower than the pressure at the liquid surface of the reservoir, creating continuous flow. The equation is P over gamma plus V squared over 2G plus Z is equals to constant, where P is the pressure gamma is the specific weight v is the velocity g is the acceleration due to gravity and z is the elevation now let's start by applying bernoulli's equation from point 1 to point 3 which is p1 over gamma plus v1 squared over 2g plus z1 is equals to p3 over gamma plus v3 squared over 2g plus z3 plus h of l. Since point 1 is open to the atmosphere, p1 over gamma is 0. It is also understood that p3 over gamma is equals to 0. The velocity at the reservoir surface V1 is also zero due to the large cross-sectional area, making the kinetic energy term negligible, and the five is in the diagram, which is the elevation of Z1. So, we simplify to zero plus zero plus five is equals to zero plus V3 squared over two times 9.81 plus zero plus 1.50 plus 2.40 Here, 1.50 meter and 2.40 meter are the head losses from point 1 to point 2 and from point 2 to point 3 respectively, giving a total head loss of 3.90 meters. So we now have 5 is equals to V3 squared over 2 times 9.81 plus 3.90 which is the total head loss. If we input that in our calculator using shift solve, we'll get 4.646. So V3 is equals to 4.646 meter per second. We solve for the discharge using cross-sectional area and velocity. Q is equals to A3 times V3. And the formula for the cross-sectional area is pi times D squared over 4. So we have pi. times 0 0.050 which we converted the 50 millimeter diameter siphon into meter squared over 4. If we calculate that, we'll get 0 0.00196 meter squared. So now, solving for the discharge, Q is equals to 0 0.00916 multiplied by 4.646 is equals to 0 0.00911 cubic meter per second.
Now, we determine the pressure at point 2. Applying Bernoulli's equation between point 1 and point 2, which is P1 over gamma plus V1 squared over 2G plus Z1 is equals to P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G plus Z2 plus H of L. 1 over gamma is 0. Our V1 squared over 2G is 0. And our Z is equals to 5, which is equals to P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G, which is 4.646 squared over 2 times 9.81 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1.50. From the diagram, we can see that point 2 is 2 meters below the level of point 1. Since point 1 is at an elevation of 5 meters, the elevation at point 2 is 5 meters plus 2 meters which is equals to 7 meters. V2 is equals to V3 due to the continuity of the flow in the siphon using P2 over gamma substituting its value 9.81 times 0 0.82 which is the specific gravity is equals to negative 4.60 meters 2 is equals to 8.0442 times negative 4.60 so the pressure at point 2 is equals to negative 37 kilopascal I hope this video helped you understand fluid flow measurement better. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more problem-solving videos. Thank you for watching.